What is up, gamers? Let's talk about Warrior. We got Guard the City, 2 mana, gain 3 armor, summon a 2-3 Naga with Taunt. I think this card's decent. It gets you some nice armor, gets you some nice Taunt. And I don't know if Big, war uh, big Warrior is going to be a thing, but this supports it because it is a minion that is in a spell. Is that going to be a strong archetype? Probably not, <laughs> but this definitely supports it very well. So I want to give this maybe three stars because I mean, I think it'll be good. Control Warrior will like it too, actually. So maybe like four stars because I think Control Warrior is also going to be nutty. Well, not nutty, but it's going to be annoying. Pirate Warrior and Control Warrior, I think, are the two types. So I think this is four. I think it'll find its way into decks. It reminds me of the Lackey Generator. It's really similar to that, except it's one less mana, and it doesn't make a lackey, and it has taunt. So, it's similar, but not quite the same. Four stars, I think it'll see play. Obsidian Smith, very cool art. Two mana, three two, pirate? Dredge, if it's a minion or a weapon, give it plus one, plus one. Um, auto occlude and pirate decks, right? Because you can kind of guarantee some good stuff. Um, is it OP? Nah, but it's going to be in pirate decks for sure. It'll always be run in pirate decks. Um, I'll give it four stars. I don't think pirate necessarily will be super strong, but this definitely helps support it. And I think there's like a weapon theme, which I don't think is going to be amazing, but we'll see. Four stars. It's a pirate. It's a pirate that helps you get more pirates, right? So. From the depths. Three mana. Reduce the cost of your bottom five cards by three. Then drag. Super cool. I think this is an insanely cool card. Technically gets you like 15 mana discounted, right? That's kind of nutty. But it is from the bottom. But it is uh, a second drag. Warrior does get two directions, but I don't think this card goes with the trident, though. So that's some... that's bad. <laughs> Is it good? Um, not really. It's Mimi. I don't think wa Warrior wants to run this. It's like three mana do nothing, bro. Like, this doesn't go into Control Warrior, because Control Warrior just wants to stall the game until they win, right? And why would they run a card that does nothing? This essentially does nothing. It's zero mana drag. That's the best way to think about it. Because by the time you reach the bottom of your deck, do you really need discounts? You've been at 10 mana for forever. So, two star, probably even one star. I don't think it's very good. One and a half stars. Two mana fire spell. Warriors getting a fire spell. They have frost spells. Well, multicaster? Forged in flame, destroy your weapon, then draw cards equal to its attack. This is the only reason uh, Weapon Warrior is going to be good. It, like, Weapon Warrior is riding on this card. Uh, Lady Ashvane's going to be doo-doo, though. <laughs> this card, I want to give it, like, four stars, honestly. Because even if you're just running it in Pirate, it's probably a two-mana... Heal the opponent three, draw three, right? And just drawing three cards is so good in Pirate Warrior. Like, that's going to be insane. So, I, honestly, I want to give this five stars. I'm going to give this five stars. I think it's going to be a really good reload. Because you just sacrifice, like, three damage most of the time to draw three. That's going to be insane in Pirate. The more fuel you can shove in there, the better it's going to be. Like, Draw and warrior is to not be, like, do not overlook draw and warrior. 3 mana, 3, 2, trident. Shuffle, say, 3, 3, 2. After you attack, consecrate. Uh, oh, no, no. Deal 2 damage to all enemy minions. It's only to minions. Uh, that loses some value. Maybe this is a control tool. Maybe, but I think this could be good in Pirate, just because you can draw it with the quest line, 
And then you can still draw it with, like, other crap, right? So, maybe it's good. Because it helps you control while you're slamming face, right? So that could be good. Oh, and this is actually Death Rattle. So maybe you use your Force and Flame to destroy it, right? That could be cool. And then you get your second trident to help you control a bit. Because Smith goes in the pirate deck. This goes in the pirate deck. And then Trident can go with them. Because it synergizes. So. You know what? Yeah. I can see this in pirate. I want to give it four stars then. Just because it'll be running pirate. So it's going to be good. <laughs> Lady Ashvane. 555. Five, five. Give all weapons in your hand deck and battlefield. Plus one. Plus one. Grapple Hook. I think his name is. He is crying. He is in shambles. Um, still a bad card, though. <laughs> like, I want to say one star, probably. No, not one star. Forge and Flames is making this a two star card. Because, like, it's... <laughs> Five mana, the only immediate thing it does is give your current weapon plus one plus one. Like, do you really want to do that? Like, the 5 mana 4-4 four, four with Rush wasn't even run in Warrior very much. That gives plus 1, plus 1 to your weapon when it attacks. So why would this be run? Right? Maybe it's a little better, because you can do it on an empty board. But if the board's empty at that point, like... Something's going weird in that game. So, I'm gonna say... 2 stars, I don't think it's gonna really pick off. Pick up. Like, meh. Maybe an expansion or two, it could get good, but not until then. 989 nine, Battle Cry, attack three different random enemies. Beast. Terrible card. Terribly designed card, honestly. First of all, eight attack instead of nine. Like, what the hell? But. Because the issue with this is that its power is in its Battle Cry. So, Big Warrior does not want this, because Big Warrior is cheating out its minions. So why the hell would you run a big minion where its power's in the battle cry? Because you're going to cheat past the battle cry. So this is like... Kind of doo-doo. Like, maybe in the sense that like it's okay to draw it, so you don't need to recruit it necessarily. But like, I don't think it's very good. Probably insane in an arena though. It's probably insane in an arena. So, I want to give this one star, honestly. Like, it's really meme -y. Like, attacks the enemy face. But, like, I don't think it's that good. You could think of it maybe as a 9 mana 8 9 with charge. In that sense, it's good. But, like, I don't think Warrior really needs that, does it? Does Warrior need 9 mana? Does Warrior need King Crush? This is actually King Crush Plus, though. Huh. Kind of naughty in that sense. If you think about it that way, this is really strong. But you can't cheat it out, because you, you need to make it cheaper. The only way this is playable is if you From the Depths it. <laughs> if you think about it that way... But that's like, that's just bad cards helping each other. Like, that's never good. Maybe generated, this is good. Like, if you generate it with the fires of Zin. I don't know. Like, this is either a one star card or secretly a five star card. Because I don't. I think it sounds strong, but I don't think it's going to pick off. Like, lift off. Like, I don't think you run it in an aggressive deck. It's so expensive. So do you really need the random 8 damage? Like, 1 star. I don't know if other people are rating this higher, but I'm giving this 1 star. And then when you all see I'm right, <laughs> I'm gonna be laughing. The Fires of Sin as Shari. 2 mana, replace your deck with minions that cost 5 or more. They cost 5. Fire. Interestingly enough, this replaces minions, right? Not your entire deck. So, better than Explore on Gura. <laughs> um, meme card, for sure. This is a mega meme card. Like, is it really that valuable? 
Like you're just making your minions good stats for the cost. So I want to give this two stars probably. Like maybe Control Warrior likes it just to make some threats, but I don't really think it's that exciting. Maybe, maybe if you play this early and then like start slamming 10 cost minions for five, that could be cool. But like, if you think about the rogue card, five mana, five, five, I think. Replace the minions in your deck with random ones. Like, that wasn't really good. So why would this be good? Maybe because it guarantees, like, insane value? I don't know. Two star, but I'd look at it. I'd look out for it. I want to make this work. But I don't feel like it will. Black scale root. 756. If you have a weapon equipped, summon a 5-6 with rush. And this one has taunt. I think this is alright, but... I don't think it really fits in too many decks. I don't see Control Warrior running a weapon. That's why. So. Like, is this really gonna proc? And this isn't running Pirate. So. Three stars, because I think it's gonna see more play than the other Garbo cards. But, like. I wouldn't really pay much attention to this. It's good stats, but. How often are you gonna be Control with like a weapon maybe in a tempo we dark but bleh nelly the great thresher 355 colossal plus one discover three pirates and when the two six half dies you add those pirates to your hand and they cost one um it's not insane but it fits in pirate it's a nice reload if you end up lasting that long in the game this card can help you win the game then. Because, like, Taunt will stop them from losing. And then you slam three pirates. Which will complete at least a third of your quest. So, that could be good. I'll give it four stars. Not because it's super insane, but it fits in Pirate Warrior. And it could fit in Control Warrior. Because it's just, it's just value, right? And if you get one mana, like, Mr. Smite, you win. <laughs> you just win. Like, oh my god, the high roll potential for this is going to be so stupid. Because if you get a smite, then you get two other pirates, and for three mana you get like ten damage at least. That's going to be insane. That's going to be absolutely nutty. Nelly, just because of the high roll, I'm just going to say Nelly's five stars. Nelly five stars, the Mr. Smite high roll. Even if it's... You play this for seven... Mr. Smite, next turn, like, you play Smite with three one-cost pirates. That's a game ender. This ends games. So, actually, five stars. Nelly is five stars. Um, trust me. Trust me, bro. <laughs> pirate, pirate Warrior is gonna be good. It's gonna gain some value, and it's gonna come, come at you hard. It's gonna draw a lot. It's gonna reload a lot. And it's going to smack you a lot. So, this was Warrior, the last of the classes. I'll, uh, I'll see you on the, on the game board. Bye-bye.